Now, first thing we want to do is take the test tube that is labeled as water, you have the solid in it and add about a milliliter of water. How much is about a milliliter? In this test tube that I have, the volume of the test tube is about 3 to 3 and a half milliliters. So, I do not want you to measure out exactly 1 milliliter of solvent. If you add water up to about a third in this test tube, then you have about a milliliter of the solvent that you are using. So, I am going to test the solubility with water. So, notice how much of water I have added that is about a milliliter. Then you hold the test tube with your fingers and flick the test tube in this fashion to see if the solid dissolves in the solvent or not. You notice that the solid is still there, it did not dissolve in water at room temperature. So, the next step then is to heat this solution in the steam bath. Use a test tube holder, hold the test tube and then keep it in the steam bath. And every once in a while, remove the test tube and shake it well. It seems like some of the solid has dissolved. So, we will continue to heat for a little longer to see if all of the solid will dissolve or not. If you notice that there are big chunks that you may want to crush, use a small glass rod. to crush the solid. And because this is water, you can leave the test tube in the steam bath for a couple of minutes. The reason being water has a boiling point of about 100 degrees and the steam bath of course, would be giving a little less than 100 degrees centigrade. So, water will not evaporate off. If you are using any other solvent whose boiling points are lower than the boiling point of water, you have to be careful to make sure that the solvent does not evaporate off when you heat it in the steam bath. So, let us see what happened to this after we heated it in the steam bath. It looks like all of the solid has dissolved. So, it has satisfied two criteria now. The compound did not dissolve in the solvent at room temperature and then when we heated it in the steam bath, it dissolved. So, the next thing to do is cool this in the ice bath and see if the solid forms again or if the crystals will form.